Many residents of St. Mary's County, Maryland, must be relieved tonight now that a murder suspect is behind bars. John Quay Jr. is in jail tonight, accused of killing Moneta Strickland. Maryland Bureau Chief Brad Bell joins us now live. So, Brad, what exactly are they saying led police to their suspect? Well, we're being told it was good detective work, and it sure sounds like that is accurate. What happened was sheriff's deputies down here found some security video that showed cars that were in the area at the time of the crime. They keep such close tabs on the 150 or so registered sex offenders in the county that a detective immediately recognized the car. When they went to the guy, they found evidence to make their case. It's a crime that rattled an entire community. Manetta Strickland, a nurse, engaged to be married, out for a jog, and murdered along a popular trail in a county where such violence is unheard of. That's actually really scary because I've jogged this trail multiple times. I've taken the kids to this park all the time. But tonight, there is relief on the Three Notch Trail. Sheriff's deputies have charged this man, John M. Quaid Jr. of Lexington Park, with the murder of Manetta Strickland. Gloria Litton says she feels safe again on the trail. I'm just glad they found a killer so everybody be relieved. Strickland disappeared last Thursday night when she went for a jog in the park. A canine search team found her body Friday covered in leaves in a ravine next to the trail. The break for detectives came when they found security video of Quaid's car in the park. Quaid is a registered child sex offender and deputies recognized the car immediately. We keep a constant surveillance on these people. And it paid off and it paid off greatly. The search of Quaid's home turned up items stolen from Strickland. According to sources, he told detectives he wanted to rob his victim on the trail, but when things didn't go as planned, he admitted he hit her with a large rock. He is charged with first degree murder. It's definitely more comforting that they caught the guy. Well, of course, our timing is such that there's nobody on the trail right now, but what we're seeing is that people have started using it again after being scared away. Police are keeping up a presence. A motorcycle officer is moving up and down to try to reassure people. Uh, we stopped by and talked to Manetta Strickland's family today. They declined to say anything on camera. In St. Mary's County, Brad Bell, ABC 7 News.